Hi guys, and I've got the beast in front of me. Uh, now obviously this is the new sixth edition rule book from Games Workshop, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. I really do. Um, I know you're all aware it's quite costly. I think it was well, I know yeah, it was forty five pounds, and that's no small chunk of change. But I can't complain. The quality of this book is just fantastic. Uh, I love it. I mean, I've not had much chance to go through the whole of the book, I'll be honest. But what I have gone through so far has, uh, has made me smile and made me a very, very happy war gamer. I, I know Games Workshop themselves get a lot of flack from time to time for different things, but uh, they've done good this time. <laughs> I've got no complaints. Well, I have one little one, but we'll, we'll get to that right near the end. But let's go over some of the really awesome stuff in this book. Now, turn to the very first opening page. We've got some iconic artwork there. Of uh, it's like uh, I think it's what's it? Gothic. It's called uh, Battlefleet Gothic. That sort of thing. One of the ships there. And there we go. Turn the page over and look at that. Uh, sorry about the uh, sheen, but we've got a, an epic battle going on there between Blood Angels and Orcs just fantastic and the overall presentation of the book itself is just fantastic I mean it's 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 just night and day over this the quality of this book and the fifth edition big red book now you've got all these sort of like cool little uh, whimsical sketches all over the place uh, throughout the book and each of the edges of the uh, pages are met with these lovely uh, 40k gothic type borders so again you know fantastic work there from GW and then we turn another page and we met with yet more amazing uh, cinematic imagery I mean this is obviously a beautiful battlefield laid out with some of the GW kits and we've got an ultramarines uh, army there fighting against some chaos and again if, if you're new to the hobby or even if you've been in the hobby for years like myself these are the sort of images that not only make you want to play the game but also give you great ideas going forwards with how you want to go about maybe building an army force or how how they've achieved certain things just by looking at the photographs to how you maybe want to go about setting up your own uh, battle board so that's that's another cool thing but the thing that I'm for me personally I'm most impressed with with the actual presentation of the book is the new digital artwork that GW have been using. I mean, if we can zoom in here, you can see it's just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, it brings me back to something that I've been saying to my friends for years. I, I, it seems like GW are so stubborn and so set in the ways that they just don't want to go forward. Uh, now, some of the old time artists, Jez Goodwin, John Blanche, and all those guys, I can't knock them for their actual vision of the grim dark future at all. Um, we wouldn't have the iconic space marines or half of the really cool things if it weren't for those guys and their visions of the future. But I've got to be honest, and I don't want to, I don't want to start a war with uh, some of you uh, old time loyalists there. But I think that their their art skills are, are somewhat lacking, even though they've been doing it for years. It's sort of like old school. Their their compositions are very poor. The perspectives. Of the, the images are very poor. I mean, we can look at sort of this artwork here. This is an old artwork, and you can. I mean, if a camera wants to focus, you can just see it's just. It just all looks wrong. It's terrible. Um, but I mean, and then we're going to go to, obviously, a new young artist, and I'd love to know who it is, that they've employed to do this artwork, and you can see, that I'm super happy that GW have, have taken things to the next level, and and they're actually using the new uh, techniques and the new art packages and art is to, to depict the grim dark future in all of its glory and I mean this artwork is phenomenal it just blows me away every time I see it do you know what I have to hold that up to get rid of the glare just so you can see and I'd love to know this art, artist uh, that uh, painted this I'd love to follow his work but again I, I can assure you now this wasn't done by and in the old time uh, GW staff there, the John Blanches uh, of this world. So a huge 10 out of 10 thumbs up for GW to stepping up to the plate and realising that 
you have to go forward you, you know you can't stick in the past you've got to progress so again a beautiful I mean I'm not knocking I mean some of the older uh, artwork still holds up today and still looks fantastic but uh yeah the new stuff is just breathtaking um, again beautiful beautiful artwork I think this is an old piece to be fair but the have either gone gone in digitally and, and colored it in or it was a is it, it was a color piece originally but obviously the uh, old books used to be in black and white but I, I really love this piece there you really get a sense of scale uh, in this picture it's using simple two-point perspective converging back there but it just gives you that huge sense of scale I love it I really do um, so that's the presentation of the book uh, side of things but let's go to the the juicy things the rules now I can't actually give you my overall opinion of the rules because I've read so little at the moment to be honest but what I have uh, read so far is, is really uh, it's really exciting some of the cinematic type rules like I like the idea of you now you can chuck grenades which I believe was in the previous editions uh, some of the really old editions but also some of the rules like uh, now uh, you can actually you've got more choices like say for example you're shooting at a, a unit in cover if some of uh, your opponent's unit is out of cover, you can now have the option to focus fire on those individuals that are out of cover, uh, making sure that your uh, opponent doesn't get his cover size, which makes a hell of a lot of sense, because if they're not in cover, why can't your men shoot at the ones that are not in cover? So, you know, that's just one of the many, many rules that I think uh, sounds really, really cool and cin cinematic. I think there's a rule where yeah, one of your leaders uh, can be saved by one of uh, your unit members. I think it's called Get Out of the Way, Sir, or something like that. Again, another really cool cinematic rule. Uh, and the actual presentation of the rules are so much uh, better than 5th edition in the sense that they're all full of colour pictures. That looks absolutely fantastic. And also the way that the, the rules are written, they've got like uh, print there in bold. Okay, I think my daughter's going upstairs to get some clothes. I uh, hope you're aware of that, guys. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, it has made the rules a little bit easier to read this time around, which, again, can only be a good thing. So, GW, you're on a roll with this book. You really are. I hope you know that. Um, so now I've got one problem with this book, and it's not it's not the book as a whole. It's my copy of the book, and I'll just show you. I'm sure I'm Jinx uh, from GW. If I can zoom on, I think there's uh, over 20 pages I've got of this in the book. Focus. Uh, this isn't my camera, not focusing, because I'll show you in a moment. You notice all those photographs are all blurry. <laughs> I've got about 20 pages where all the uh, pictures are blurry. I've got like a, a, a dodgy copy. Um, I'll show you a normal uh, page where it's there. They're not, they're, not, they're not blurry, I don't think. Focus. It's not focusing. But yeah, nice clear images. And if I go back to that one, yeah, all the images are blurry. <laughs> and this is again, this is not my camera blurring them out because I can go to another uh, picture. That oh, that's another blurry page. Uh, this isn't a blurry page. And, and you'll see. Look, there you go perfect focus <laughs> so um, again full credit to GW I phoned them up saying that a uh, certain number of pages I think I counted 22 pages out of the book where the images I don't it's peculiar how the book can look so good but yet a certain number of the pages where the images are like really blurry it's like the um, something went wrong in the printing process we have got some more don't know where they are off the top of my head um, some some really bad orc pages. I mean, that's another really blurry page for the elder there. Um, but yeah, I found it really peculiar. It uh, sends your eyes funny because you can't focus on the images. But yes, let's go off that and say that I phoned GW up to say that I had a problem with my book and that uh, a certain number of the pages was blurry. 
but credit to GW again. The customer services at, at GW is uh, fantastic. Uh, they I explain the problem, and it says not a problem. Um, you shouldn't you shouldn't obviously have that sort of problem with with your book. And they'll send me another one out. So they're going to send me another uh, book out. Uh, they've asked me to send the uh, old book in if I like. I mean, it wasn't even a request. So um, fantastic, GW, thumbs up, and uh, yeah, uh, this rule book. It really is all all things encompassing the hobby in, in the respects that if you're just getting into 40k and you pick this book up, yeah yeah, you're absolutely laughing. I think it's a huge thumbs up from GW, and uh, I really just can't wait to get my first six game. I'm I'm really really looking forward to it. What uh, put your comments below? I mean, there's got to be a lot of you uh, guys out there that subscribe to me that pick this up. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, just share similar thoughts to me, or or is there things in the book that you're not happy with? You may have read obviously a lot more than me at, at this stage, but I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on what you think of uh, 40k six edition. Oh, I've managed to get this into a long video, uh, so we're going to cut it here. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.